Ooh. Oh my God. Have you seen the size of this thing? Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K. Now be sure to count the number of times you see this logo flashing throughout the video, because at the end I reveal mm, a really cool giveaway. Virtual reality in fitness is not new. However, a lot of studies are showing that it's actually more beneficial than traditional methods. So how does O-Shape compare and fit within this industry? Let's find out. The game only takes about 15-20 seconds to load, so it's pretty fast. And then after you've clicked OK, you'll be inside of this menu where you see various different things. So the first thing is you can actually mouse over the different songs. And every time you mouse over a song, you'll be able to hear a preview of the music. Now just a tip that on the left hand side is where the easiest songs are. You'll also be able to do a tutorial, which I recommend you do when you load the app for the very first time. And you also have an extras tab. You have another five songs which you can play to, which are all pretty, pretty sweet. And of course, the app enables you to provide custom songs as well. And they tell you how to upload your songs. Once you click on one of the songs, you'll be presented with a whole wide range of different options that you can follow, including how fast you want the game to go, how accurate you want to be whilst you're playing and changing different shapes, and also the master volume. You'll also be able to play in no fail mode, which is good fun. And you can also click small room if indeed you're using a play space that is smaller than your average sized room. You can also choose to have your game in easy, medium, hard. And it will also give you the name of the song here, plus the number of minutes the song will actually run. And you can also choose leaderboard, where it will show you what position you are within the app. So during the gameplay, you get to avoid some obstacles, you get to go through the silhouettes and also grab some coins and smash some glass. To know how to position your body, you will get to see a shadow that will be casted on the objects. Now that really adds some nice texture to the gameplay as well. However, I think maybe the devs may want to provide people the flexibility to switch it on or off. I'd also like to mention that even though in the settings you're not able to manually change your height, it does it automatically for you. As you know, I'm prone a little bit to motion sickness, but there is no motion sickness in this app. In terms of play space, you will be jumping from left to right from time to time. So I do recommend that you have at least three meters by three meters, if not 3.5 square meters of play space. If your play space is rectangular, then I suggest that you position yourself on the vertically and not horizontally. There are a few noticeable differences when you're using the Oculus Quest virtual desktop or the Oculus Link with Steam or the Rift version. Some of those differences include some more jagged edges when using the Oculus Quest, and you'll see that they put some kind of fog within the menu area. The virtual desktop version, it's already much more polished. There are less jagged edges and a little more ambient inclusion. Just like to mention that even though the Oculus Quest isn't as powerful graphically compared to when using virtual desktop or the Oculus Link, there's definitely no issues. Nothing is blurry. Everything is pretty clear. Before I give you my final thoughts on O-Shape, I just want to give a very quick shout out to all those who viewed and commented on one of the previous video, which is all about Eleven, the VR table tennis app, which was just released recently. Thank you very much, guys. You are awesome. Be sure to leave your comments and suggestions below so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. If you're looking to use VR as part of your fitness program, then I definitely think that O-Shape could be put inside of your catalog because if you increase the speed of the game and also the difficulty, you will be literally jumping everywhere. I mean, I don't know how people can can do it. I mean, for me, as you could tell, it was just go foo, 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 just kept coming and it was it was really, really hard. So you'll definitely get a good sweat after I would say 15, 20 to 25 minutes for sure. During the gameplay, I didn't have any issues in terms of losing the sensors or the controllers, unless you put your controllers to the very back then okay, maybe you'll have some issues. And I definitely think that the developers did a good job in terms of the variety between avoiding obstacles, grabbing the coins, 
or going through the walls or hitting the glass walls. I think definitely some good variety there, which adds to the workout that you're looking to get out of this VR experience. Despite the fact that there's only one level that you can choose from, I definitely think that it's still worth getting. And of course, as time goes by, the developers are gonna have to add more levels. Ooh, okay, so I'm doing a cool giveaway today. You can win yourself a free key, which is a cross buy, so you'll be able to use it both on the Oculus Quest and also on the Oculus Rift. There are two ways which you can win this key. It's really up to you the way you want to do it. Either you can share this video and just copy paste the link where you shared it in the comments below. Or just tell me how many times you see this logo flashing. And yes, it does count right now. And leave your answer in the comments below. For the details of the date of the giveaway, make sure that you go to the description. Thanks again for watching this video. You're awesome. Remember to like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away. Woo!